Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a scanner folder on a HP device. Um, first thing you want to do is grab the IP address of your printer and type it into a search bar. Um, this just allows you to remote into the, I'm um, getting to the back end of the EWS. So this will come up, go to advanced, just proceed. This is this might not be the exact model, but this will be the basic setup. Um, sign in. The password should be capital P, pass. So capital P, A, S, S, hash, word, W, O, R, D. So I'll say that again. The password is pass hash word with a capital P. P, capital P, A, S, S, hash, W, O, R, D. So sign in. So from there, we'll just minimize this so far. So this is just the file where I've created just a temporary file to show you um, how to set things up. So this is the source point where I want to send all my files. So from here, the first thing I'm going to do is type in um, add user to a search bar. And as you can see here, this is you just want to add a just add a dedicated um, account for the printer itself. This will just allow the printer to access the computer and send information to the file. So we just go then a permission. Um, if you have, you can use your own information, like your own uh, login information, but we just find it easy if you just create uh, quickly create a. Um, Just quickly create a user account for the um, printer with basic access. So, yep, so that's the one I created, it's popped in. So, from there, I'll go to Right click, go to properties on this file. This should pop up, it's properties, go to sharing. From here you go share. And I'll type in the account I just created, add. HBS, I want it to read and write. So from there, share done. So that's all good. Um, keep this up because you'll need this network path. So from here, we'll just go back to, so, Again, what we just done is made this file shareable and made it shareable with the specific account, account we've created for the H, um, for the printer. So from there, we'll go to scans. I'm down to scan to network. Quick set. We'll add a new quick set. So this will just be HP scans. Yep, enter, press, yep, that's fine. You can choose start instantly from home screen or just uh, enter then choose settings. doesn't really matter, it's up to you. So this is the more important part. This is going to be the setting up the location and destination of the file. So the folder path, this is the folder path. So you want to copy and paste that here. Important note, this has to be correct, otherwise the scan will not be able to correctly send to the file. From here, we'll go down and use, you always use user credentials, username. <coughs> so this is the username and password of the account I just created for um, this printer specifically. But again, you can use your own login details if that is for your personal printer, uh, for your yeah, for, for your personal computer and it's sending to your computer only. So we'll verify access. Hmm, not exist. So this is what I mean when uh, this needs to be very specific. Scan and copy again. Mm. 
Mas... So the issue there was not actually the file path being incorrect. I simply had my cap lock on, and um, that means I just I just put the password incorrectly. So another thing to know, just yeah. So now you can see that network folder is in and it is good to go. So send only folders with read write access. Yep. Go next. This just means if you want a notification when the job is complete. Uh, we usually just get, say don't notify and here's where you want to set things up so I'd say two sides sc scanning it's going to be mixed text standard document any size go to next yeah that's good next I want them to be named scan Use edible. Edible means uh, you can change the file name at the printer at the, at the time of its scan, or you can just not change it and it'll just come up with scan as a default. So I wanted to day, day, month, month, year. For me, I want to suppress blank pages. So when I selected double sided pages, if I have a single sided page, the, pr the, 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 the printer will still scan both sides. So they'll scan the side with the text of the image and the back blank page. Blank page suppression means it will get rid of that blank page and just only send the relevant scan document. So this is really good to have if you have multiple documents. Save and that is all set up. Perfect. So that will appear in your quick sets. I'll show default jobs. So this is this is our home screen currently. It's quick sets, HP scan. So that is what's there. If you want to send this, put this scan on the home screen. Simply drag this over to here. Go back out to the home screen. Then move that there. So that's simply moving the icons around. So this this HP scan folder appears on your home um, on, on the home screen on the printer. I don't want it there, so I'll just move it back. But that's pretty much done. That's pretty much how you set up a scan to network folder. Let's go. Quick sets. Again, again, it's appeared there. Um, now that that folder is saved, so if you go in and add another quick, uh, add another fold, uh, quick set or a shortcut, you won't have to. You, uh, you can either create a new folder or simply select. Um, the one we've already created for this, that, that is an option.